Yes. Yes. Now this is Robert again with a Coastal GX. We're on the way to Port Mansfield. Today is going to be a special day. I'm here with Mr. Carlos Lopez, the cousin, aka Bass Brothers. Ready to go? What's going on, guys? Of course, and where do we decide to stop first? Uh, we gotta get some tacos. We gotta get some tacos. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> we arrived at Port Mansfield before sunrise, just in time to launch the Bass Brothers boat. As always, we promise you to do something we've never done before. Today, we are out here with my cousin, El Primo Carlos Lopez. Yes, the man behind Bass Brothers, the Facebook page. This guy knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. He's gonna take us fishing. What's going on, guys? Uh, today, we're gonna do a little bit of trout fishing and red fishing. So, uh, hopefully, we can get on them. Uh, I'm gonna do some, uh, we're gonna try some islands on the right, and then I'll try to look for some clear water, that way we can target some redfish, but uh, hopefully it's a good day, and uh, I don't know, I promised these guys some, some trout, so we're gonna get at it. Yes, it is a great day, and here we have Samantha, you know from the videos. Hi. It's already starting out to be a beautiful day. popping noise is for, for, for it to attract the trout because we're making that same noise that the trout trout make when they're feeding so we want to we want to imitate that feeding sound so we can attract the trout around it so as a cuenta your, your focus your main focus is going to be on your popper that's a strike indicator it means that it's it's biting so what you want to do when it goes down quickly like reel it in and then set the hook with well, like set the hook como si, like if there was no tomorrow like there's no, the reason we're not gonna damage the fish, even though you set the hook real hard, is because we're using monofilament as a leader. Monofilament has stretch. So as, it doesn't matter if you pull real hard on it, it's just gonna stretch and it's not gonna create any, any damage on the fish. So just set the hook like, como si no tuvieras miedo, like you're, like you're not scared, like just set the hook. We're gonna cast. Pop it, pop, wait a little three seconds, one, two, three, pop it again, one, two, three, pop it again, and then reel it in three times, one, two, three, but at the same time you're watching your, your cork, your strike indicator. So one that, once that cork goes down, like quickly reel it into the voila and just set the hook. Uh, so as you can see this uh, fishing vessel right here, this is what we're noticing, that there's a nasty stench right now, kind of like sewage, okay? Now, for those of you that already do this every day, I mean, you guys know about this probably, but I've never experienced this. You want to reel in your line, I'm all like, uh, this line right here is closest to your finger. So you put your finger right here, you open this, uh, Bill, and then you want to do like a like a side fiddle over the head, and then that's how you cast it. And then when you said you do a popper, yeah, when you when you pop it, you want to like rein in the slack a little bit, and then you want to give it like a like a whip. I okay. see. So, but it's gonna be a, a fast whip, like I see, reel it in, I see. And we'll see un, un whip, I see. You're on, Sammy. Bring it in. Yeah, it has to, it has to. 
Orale, ya se llevó el gulp. We're not, we're not targeting this kind of catfish, so we're gonna have to move a little bit more para allá. But uh, there's still, wow. there's still fun fights. Yeah. It's just that it's, it's, it's not what we want. So our captain has decided maybe it's a bad, better idea to move away from there and try our luck somewhere else. During the repositioning of the boat, I realized my hat wasn't secured properly and it fell in the water. Thankfully, I'm a very graceful man and I didn't look ridiculous attempting to retrieve it. Ah, I just, ah! <laughs> Why can't I be taller? <laughs> Never again, Captain, thank you. <laughs> While my hat dried, we reached another one of Carlos's fishing spots, but the lucky one turned out to be Samantha. Sammy, your first speckled trout. <laughs> nice, and that's a good one too. We're gonna measure them. Let's see how, how much you measure them. It's gonna measure them. I think it's uh, I think we're at like 16. I'm gonna call a 16. Right there, 17. 17 and a quarter. That's a real nice trout. This is a keeper. Nice. This is an absolute keeper. From 15 to 25, they're keepers. Oh, nice, nice, nice trout. That's an awesome trout, nice. Woo! Let's see if it measures. Let's see if it measures. Sweet. Carlos was on point. His strategy started to pay off. I say it's a solid 15. Ooh, fish on, Samantha, fish on. Nice. Otra trout. Oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Small trout. I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. <laughs> oh yes. Se me se me fue el mío lo bueno. Yeah. No más dejé la lure like tirada and it was like. Yeah, I see. Otra más, otra más. Ahí está. I was like, why is it not reeling into? Yes. Yeah, so like. It's still on, right? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Sammy's on! Sammy's on! Nice! What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. Wow! Found it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice. Oh, we need to record. No, no, si tres algo. Oh! <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, that. Mm -mm. What the hell? We're not targeting catfish. Uh-uh. Oh, that, that was a good oh, one. Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Solo, 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 solo. Nice. Oh, in your face, trout. <laughs> okay. Captain Carlos is moving us yet to another spot. <coughs> this is gonna be the third spot. We weren't lucky in this last one over here. Carlos didn't want the day to end without having a chance of landing a red drum, so he moved us to clearer waters. We're gonna hook up on a red. The water is super clear. It's beautiful. 
It's super clear, he says, and maybe with this camera, you probably can't really tell. I don't know, it's probably getting a bunch of glare. Probably getting a bunch of glare there, but I'll tell you this, with the sunglasses that I'm wearing right now, these are prescription sunglasses that I got at Thurman Eye Associates. Uh, they have clinics valley-wide. I'm not trying to give a commercial here or anything, I'm just saying that with these sunglasses, these Oakleys that I have, these are my prescription glasses, uh, but they're polarized and uh, with these glasses I can see maybe what what do you think captain uh what do you think maybe about a couple of feet of a foot and a half or what yeah right about like two or three feet right where the fish are at we're about two or three feet right now and i can see all the way down uh to where the grass is all the way to the bottom you can actually see very clearly so if you guys are going to come out here and you're going to fish for the first time and you always hear about people talking about well, I got these polarized glasses, sunglasses, and this and that. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. And I, I can witness that. I can testify to that. Yeah, you got a red. Yes. 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 You did it. Oh my goodness. Samantha, I want you to know. Samantha Lynn. Samantha Lynn, I want you to understand something. I think you're the first person in the family to ever catch one of these. Really? Yes. You had a dead mosquito in your ear. Well, he had his fill. Holy <laughs> sh absolutely holy moly indeed i blacken the red drum and trout fillets with roasted garlic cilantro butter in an iron skillet carlos prepped his trout with louisiana beer batter and his own spices check out his video on youtube if you want to learn how he prepared them all right everyone we're gonna call it a day unfortunately we weren't able to meet our limit on our uh, speckled trout but how many did we get Seven total, so it's uh, one limit and a half. So, still not too bad. I'm real happy that at least Samantha over here, she was able to experience something uh, very new, and uh, she actually got a, a red, a red drum, and that was pretty special. It barely made the limit, but, uh, yeah, red right at 20. Barely made it, but it was a keeper, and, and I'm so, so happy for her and, and for us as well. We had a wonderful time. It's getting a little too warm, and uh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna take it in. Now, I wanna say thank you to Carlos Lopez, Bass Brothers. That's his logo. <laughs> That's his cap. You can follow him on Facebook. You can follow him on YouTube. Yeah, we, we both have our, 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 YouTube our YouTube channels are still very new. We would appreciate if you guys are able to hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a like if you enjoyed the content. Carlos. Yeah, uh, yeah it was, uh, we, were, we, we was trying. Um, we had some rough morning. Uh, we were hitting a lot of uh, catfish where the, usually the trout are, are you know located. But we had to relocate a couple times, but eventually we found them. I took him to the clear water where the redfish were going to be at and we, we sighted a couple and uh, Samantha was casting until she got one so she was a lucky one today. Uh, unfortunately we, get, we didn't get three limits but we caught some good trout and a redfish, a 20 inch redfish. Carlos tell us a little bit more about your channel and what you do. I mean yeah we're out here at Port Mansfield and uh, we're doing some saltwater fishing but What's your forte, man? What's what do you? What is it that you enjoy? I'm actually I'm actually a bass fisherman, so my thing is bass fishing. As you can see, the cap and I'm not wearing my shirts, the ones I always wear. But um, I'm a bass fisherman, so that's my that's my heart. You know, hardcore techniques over there. That's what I know a little bit more. But saltwater fishing, I've been doing it for a while as well. So I mean, I have a little bit of knowledge on saltwater. But my thing is the largemouth bass. Uh, if you guys are interested, you want to click on the link uh, below. 
I think uh, Bobby's gonna leave a link below and you can check out my channel for uh, bass fishing, more tips and tricks on how to catch them. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.